Good afternoon traders. It is Monday, April 27th, 2015 and the U.S. stock market is closed. One of my customers emailed me about an hour ago and he said first horrible day of 2015 and he's right although I would almost be willing to add to this this was almost the worst horrible day in two years I just could not believe today it was horrible with a capital H uh, we are holding 12 positions going into tomorrow 11 of them are negative in the total um, open trade equity is over 26,000 negative. We just haven't seen anything like this. Um, this is horrible for a couple reasons. One is, you know, we had this open this morning in the Dow where it went up real strong at the end of the, at the beginning of the day. That did help us with getting out of what we had yesterday. I mean, we did pretty well with what we got out. We closed out uh, um, six, uh, almost $6,000 positive, and I think we we're holding $4,000 uh, uh, in open trade yesterday. So we did fine with our exits. But this pump up at the beginning of the day got us in to 12 positions and then they just totally failed here. But what, what's got me bugged about today is that, you know, as I say, this, this was the worst day of this year, almost the worst day, uh, even if I include last year as well. And yet we really didn't get the Dow down too much. It only fell 42 points. I did, you know, predict it was going to go down yesterday, but I, I did not. You know, this is nothing. <laughs> I would have expected that we had this kind of day with the Dow down 300 points. No, it's just down 42 points. And we don't like this pattern, but we've seen that pattern many times before. And yet today it was just crushing. We just everything went bad that could go bad, um, and I'm just astounded. You know, this area up here is very bad for buying. I mean, you know, I've said that. It's like the short sellers come in and the, and the profit takers come in, and all that is true. But today they just killed everything that we were in and I was looking even at some stocks that we weren't in and they followed a similar pattern so it would just appear that maybe the Dow stocks uh, weren't suffering the way everything else seemed to be today but this this was really really grim I'll show you um, the pattern that killed us today and this is in trip advisors we you know you can see this follows that pattern of the Dow only the sell-off is more extreme and we bought that this morning you know 45 minutes into the day and then it was just down 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 the rest of the day we ended up we're holding like negative 1500 in trip advisors that's not the worst, folks. I can't even show you the charts of the worst. They just make me sick. I can't look at them. But we have two uh, stocks that are down over $6,000. And then we have about five that are down uh, kind of like you see here with Trip, $1,500 or a little more. Uh, you know, and as I say, 12 12 stocks, 11 of them are negative, and they're big negatives. That's how we total up with negative 26,000. Terrible, just horrible. I don't want to leave you with complete despair, but I will tell you I'm worried about tomorrow because we got 26,000 negative 
and we're not even out of it yet. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. It could even get a lot worse. But I will show you something just that might... It, it's just my way of dealing with <laughs> what is very difficult to deal with. Um, this is our early exit. You know, I started thinking about an earlier exit last year when we just got clobbered uh, on one particular day when the our stocks opened up positive in the morning and then they all got stopped out later on in the day huge losses and I think I saw I think I think we had a forty thousand dollar swing from positive to negative that that uh, day and I just said hey one thing I can do is get out of these things early and uh, we haven't had terrific luck with our early exits so far this year I mean obviously we've been making money all but sometimes we get out too early because the markets have been very good we just had very good stocks this year uh, but Today we really saw how that early exit is start, is paying off, and uh, th this one is um, in Recro Pharma. And we got out of that this morning. You know, it did sell off a little bit, but we still had over fifteen hundred dollars in profits in Recro Pharma. And then you can see the plunge here, and you can see where we would have been getting out on our. Um, old exit strategy this would have been a rather severe loss instead we took some money and you can see the the same pattern I'll show you one more here that's like that uh, let's see where am I Westmoreland Coal yeah just look at this uh, we got out of Westmoreland Coal it took nearly two thousand dollars in profits this morning with that and then it just plunged along with everything else but uh, so we had some profits in, in that trade as I say we did fine with what with our exits but what we're carrying just looks like a nightmare I don't know what else to say I mean I'm sick about this I'm absolutely you know I feel like throwing up I uh, we just I haven't had this happen in many many months and um, it's really tough to take regardless Trader Bob doesn't give up Trader Bob will be back here online tomorrow I'll see you then signing off